Here's a section we're doing. These right here are new running boards. We want these to match the truck's patina. So this will be the third coat. Using a paintbrush. Don't worry about it after you sand it. Don't worry about none of the dust blowing it off. Leave that dust on there because it will show that little grit. You want all that grit and you want all these lines from the paintbrush to be inside your piece you're wanting to patina. But that's gonna be the first step, getting this paintbrush on there, getting it all in black, then we're gonna go over the roller. Now, using black and a red color, we've mixed it up and we're using a roller here. That's my wife. She's doing this project, doing the patina, using a roller to go over those brush strokes with the black that was just done. And it don't matter if there's runs and things in it because that's just gonna add to it once you start to sand where you want your patina. Now, a lot of times it's gonna be a little patina right through here where you place your foot and around the lower section of the cab and right through here and around your sides. So that's this part right here that's going on is mixing up a color that kindly looks close to the factory red oxide primer that they used. And then after this, once this dries, we're gonna shoot a little bit of color on there. And as soon as that color dries, we'll start water sanding to fade this color through. All right, now that the paint that's been rolled on is dry, the bottoms here, they can be shot real pretty blue or not blue, sea sprite green. I'm gonna show you the wife. She's over here shooting the paint right now, just a light coat, just to uh, let it tack. You can see that texture that's there. So once it's all blue, be able to water sand those down where we want it to show some patina. You can see the trash there. Once water sanded, that'll show through and look like rust. Okay, here they are. She's already got all the paint on them. Now if you look real closely, you can see the texture, these little runs. Those are from paint brushing it and then rolling it. See them runs, once you water sand this down, those runs will show through and it'll look like rust that's over the ages. So it'll look more patina, which is what we're going for. So. This will be nice on the bottom. The bottom of the cab also will be this color as well. We're painting the frame. We'll paint the bottom of the cab real pretty. But everything on the outside, we're aging for patina. So next step, doing some water sanding before we shoot the clear. All right, here you can see the wife working on her running board by water sanding it with the 800 grit. It allows her to sand through that base coat into the two colors underneath and it'll make give it that patina which she's going to go ahead and finish up this one right here probably put a little more wear right here where people would put their foot but once she gets this done we'll just slide right into that right now here you can see one that hasn't been done yet compared to the one that's already been done that is where it's worn from where someone would have gotten in and out of the truck there's still a little bit more work to do on this. The wife went ahead and finished it up, and that's pretty much all you need to do. Just using a paintbrush, after you've sanded, leave all your dust and all your sand scratches and marks inside that color in the paint, and use your brush to put some black on, roll on your color that you want, like your red oxide, and after that, shoot your base on, and then sand it to show through those colors and give you that nice, worn-out look. But I uh, appreciate everybody for watching and uh, checking out this channel. And I hope you subscribe and comment and feel free to ask any questions. Thanks for watching, guys.